Welcome back to part three. In this section, I will be reflecting on my first year at the University of Edinburgh, speaking about things that I found helpful or unhelpful and just giving a general synopsis to my first year at the University of Edinburgh. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy. I'm on my Easter break right now and having been so homesick within the first like semester, basically for like the first two months, I was, I literally was so horrifically homesick. I am now at home and I'm wanting to go back to Edinburgh. I just love Edinburgh. I feel so at home there. It's just such a wonderful place. I'm really missing my like routines of the gym and then going to study and getting a coffee. But it's really lovely to be at home and having someone doing my washing up and drying my clothes for me, which is a very nice experience. We have finished year one. I had my final art history exam on the 5th of May. That went, you know, surprisingly better than I expected. I had um, special circumstances, but I also had my disability support, which was an hour and a half extra time, I think, or maybe an hour's extra time. And I felt really guilty about it at first because I was like, oh my God, like, um, you know, all of these other people are, are struggling and working hard. And I kind of felt like I was cheating in some way, but in reality, you know, you have like, oh, like I'll, I have like complex mental health issues and learning challenges. So I think it's a really good tool to use and exams are, you know, out of the way now, which is really good. I'm going to speak about my transition from high school secondary school to university because there are a few things that i think i've noticed one being from like um a state school i think it's called um like non-private education i definitely at the beginning noticed that especially with art history it's very you know you have to see objects in person to like really be able to appreciate there's only so much that you can kind of see and you know when you're not interacting with the objects like in person um so it's really great because in first semester we did quite a lot of work at the national museum of scotland which meant that we could actually see the works of art and they were here in edinburgh so we didn't have to sort of travel definitely at the start i noticed the difference however now it's kind of come to the end i feel like i'm just at the same level as everyone else so that was that was sort of like something that has definitely leveled off since finishing second semester it's quite late in me mentioning this but um my so i have two mums um which was something that in high school in a very little you know conservative small-minded town is a massive deal i really don't tell people that i have two mums very often because of the past experience that i've had but since coming to edinburgh you know there's such a wider population and there's such a big like queer population as well um I feel like completely supported by the university and by the people around here. I think it's a really safe city for, um, you know, the LGBTQ plus community. I'm just going to round up this kind of series of clips um, from over the past year. I'm going to just say kind of what I found helpful and not helpful and just kind of, I suppose, give you some advice from hindsight of my first year at Edinburgh University. Um, I think going in saying that while I cannot, you know, predict how your university experience is going to be, and it's going to be, you know, completely different from your peers, from mine, from, you know, maybe your parents if they went to uni. But I think each experience is completely unique and nine times out of ten it will literally, you know, they say it'll be the best years of your life. From my experience, it has been. Having said that, you know, the first three months were... I'd say probably some of the hardest months of my life. So I just want to really emphasise you are probably going to be feeling terrified and scared and nervous and apprehensive and all of those things and I was feeling all of those things too. I was absolutely petrified and convinced I would have to drop out but I just want you to know that you know it is possible to get through it and I just I think 
the city and the university has so many amazing opportunities and I think they really nurture your growth and I think as well like it's an amazing self exploration journey to kind of push yourself and push yourself to things that you didn't think you'd ever be capable of doing. I'd say as well for things that I found really helpful one was definitely the Facebook group chats that you can join. Usually they, you find them on like um, the University of Edinburgh Facebook page, they'll have like sub ones, so there's like Salisbury, there's Warrender Park Crescent, you know, for different accommodations. People usually have like flat group chats too, so you can speak to your flatmates before you move in, see who you sort of like get on with you think. Um, I think that's a really great thing. Um, I'd say as well, the Freshers' Fair, really good for kind of like settling you into the city I think. Um, I think it's so great to see everything that's available for you but to definitely not feel too overwhelmed and to feel like you have to join like five or ten different societies to fit in because I felt so, so much pressure just from being a fresher that you know I, I literally spent I think about 50 pounds on memberships to about 10 different societies that I just haven't had the chance to actually get to go to but I think that's kind of it I suppose just you know taking the time to like really learn about the city even like if it helps doing like a walking tour or a bus tour I think there are really great ways of like settling yourself into the city I think first year has just been like one of the most amazing experiences but yeah I wish you all the best in your studies and yeah I really hope you find a home in Edinburgh like me I think it's such an amazing city with so many opportunities and yeah I really do wish you all the best bye